Hey everybody, we're doing a video tonight because the official announcement of Reason 12 being fully released to everybody. Uh, specifically, we're looking at the Reason Rack plugin, which is part of the Reason Plus Studio. And um, it is out. And one of the new things that's in there is this thing called the Mimic Creative Sampler. And uh, this looks like pretty standard fare for sampling, uh, at least the modern type of sampling. Now, Reason itself has other samplers. Uh, we have uh, a few different options for this that use uh, sampling inside of the whole Reason workflow. And so it's, it's you know, it's not like this is completely new to uh, what we would do in here. But uh, this new instrument, the Mimic, is has some really interesting things. And so what I wanted to do today is compare the uh, the Mimic with something like the Quick Sampler inside Logic. Uh, these two kind of take up the same headspace a little bit, uh, and I think that there are some interesting comparisons and a few different things which are a little bit uh, different. And so perhaps Mimic is pushing forward uh, sampling just slightly, and so we want to be aware of what's out there and how they compare with each other. So... We have inside Mimic this thing that's called the pitch mode. There's four different modes, pitch, slice, multi-slot, and multi-pitch. And they each do something different. In the quick sampler, we have classic one shot and slice with an option for a recorder to create our own. And so uh, they're very similar. Pitch is like classic, slice is like slice, uh, one shot, is we don't really have exactly a one shot uh, similar option over here, um, but uh, you can do one shot things with these. Uh, in fact, you don't even need the one shot in the quick sampler. You can uh, mimic that with other tools there. And then we have the multi slot and the multi pitch, which are uh, just expansions on these first two with the pitch and slice. So I'd say right off the bat, the first difference is, is that with the quick sampler, we have one slot. We can load in one file, that's it. And then on the Mimic, we can actually load up to eight different things and slots. And man, I wish we had that for the quick sampler. That's one of the things I'm most jealous about with the whole thing is that we have, uh, we can load up to these eight different slots. And so it's really an expansion just in terms of how many things that we can do. Now, can we use the full sampler in Logic and have more than eight slots? Sure, I mean, we're not talking about functionality we don't have in Logic. It's just that with the quick sampler, we have to move from that to a different instrument and it's not so, e we don't get all the same easy features. We can do everything, but it's more complicated. Okay, cool. Uh, another thing that I want to point off right off the bat is that Mimic has additional features if you're using this inside Reason 12 instead of as the Reason Rack plugin. And so because I use Logic and not Reason, I use the Reason Rack plugin, uh, there's already a huge disadvantage. Uh, and one of those things is that I can't, uh, for instance, pull this and drag and drop onto the interface like I can with a quick sampler. So we're pretty much stuck using the loading of other things. Like we can come in here and use the browse and browse out to our interface. So we can get files in there, but it's certainly not drag and drop like we have inside the Logic ecosystem. Okay, so what else do we have that's a, a thing here? So let's do one of the slices. You'll see we have pretty much a similar thing here. I mean, a little bit different color scheme, but kind of the same color scheme at the same time with the orange. But, you know, who's, who's counting um, the eggs in the chicken coop, right? Who knows? Uh, otherwise... We can look back and forth through so many things here. We have a pitch section 
and we have a pitch section. This has the KBD, this is the keyboard tracking option over here. Uh, we have the tuning and the ability to do uh, an envelope, um, an LFO, and a modulation. All of this stuff we can do inside here as well because we have all of these little things right there. We have a filter, frequency resonance, all of that right here. Same stuff. Amplitude envelope. We have two of them here. Okay. Um, we have essentially the filter envelope down here, which we have some additional options that we don't have on the uh, the mimic. And we have the so filter envelope and then the amplitude envelope. And then we have the pitch envelope here, which we don't have inside there, but you know, that's cool. And then um, one LFO where we have two LFOs in the quick sampler. Uh, we do have an effects section here, which is probably, um, I don't think we have an exact equivalent, but we have all of logic. So we can use other effects. It's just not built right into it. And then we have a nice EQ with some sense. So these little things here are actually a nice addition into a, an instrument. The other thing we have inside Mimic, and this is perhaps one of the other really useful things. In terms of the stretching, which is such an important part of using something like a quick sampler or a Mimic, uh, because if we load in one file into our slot and use the pitch mode or the classic mode, we want to play that across the entire keyboard. We don't want it to go high and short at the top and long and slow at the bottom of the keyboard. And in this case, uh, with Logic, we do the flex, time, follow, tempo, right? Those are the, the keys either to using it like a pitch bend or like a time stretching function for the sampling. In here, we have tape, advanced, melody, vocal, and granular. So the theory being you have different types of material that you're gonna be loading, and so you want different algorithms. Uh, in Logic, we don't have the choice for which type of algorithm we're using, and that's okay. I mean, it, it works really well uh, across the board. However, it's nice to have some of these options. Let's see, let's come back out to that one. I particularly like that we have granular with some of these other settings, but um, overall, I think that in this one case, having different algorithms for how we're gonna stretch things is really nice because it means that we can customize that to whatever we need. Uh, in terms of everything else, I think that as you could see, they're very similar. They really are, they're not that different. And, um, and so we have a lot of the same functionality. Uh, we have the ability to really come through and create something quickly and efficiently. And uh, the usability is just through the roof when you're working with this type of stuff. So uh, I think that I've got no complaints. I love that Reason is adding this Mimic Creative Sampler. I'm just never going to use it in Logic because the Logic ecosystem for sampling is really the top of the game right now. All of this I want to just make sure we say this once, and hopefully most of you have stopped watching the video already, but all of this really instigated by Ableton's uh, Simpler and its sampling functionality, and now everybody's just wanting a piece of that. And so good on Ableton for making sure that we all got here. Awesome that Logic, in my opinion, has some of the best sampling functionality of any software, and now Reason gets to follow up in the rear and you know, do this and add some of this cool stuff. But in the end, uh, I don't think I'll be switching mostly for the drag and drop functionality. And uh, oh, one other thing I will say that we don't have so far inside Mimic are some of these functions over here where we get the retune 
and the analysis and all of that really cool stuff. So when I bring one of these files, here, let's do this. Over from here, I can do this original or optimized. Uh, and so, you know, we don't have some of that same functionality inside the, the actual mimic itself. We do have, you'll see an analysis option, uh, but it's really limited in what it can do. And um, we don't have control over really either of them when it comes to it. Okay, hope this was useful, showing you a little bit about Mimic and how it compares to the Quick Sampler. And uh, yeah, check it out for sure.